Okay, last week we talked about building guitar chords using the major scale. Well, this chart takes away all the guesswork. All the answers are here for you. So you just need to know how to use the chart. The rows going across are your major scales. So in the blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. So the first scale you come to is C. And the notes in the C major scale are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Those are all the notes in that scale. And that works for all the scales going down. You can figure out what notes belong to each scale. Now, the second row is the chord type. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. So, in your C major scale, the chords that are available to you are C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and B diminished. So, if you're writing a song in the key of C, or using that collection of notes, doesn't matter even if you don't know theory, if you happen to be using C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C, those are the chords that will work automatically. They'll just sound good because all those chords are built using those notes. Now, let's just say you want to figure out what key your song is in. You have no idea. You've always played these chords, but you don't know what key it's in. So, first of all, just think of the chords that are in your song. Let's just say your song has a G, C, and a D, right? Look across your second row, find the three majors. So you have major in your first column, you have major in your fourth column, and major in your fifth column. Now scan down those major columns and find out what key has a G, C, and D in it. And as you'll notice, it's the second one. It's the G major scale. So now you know your song's in the key of G, and you also have these other chords that you can actually insert into your song. So an A minor, a B minor, an E minor, and an F sharp diminished. Now it's very likely that you're writing a song in maybe two different keys. So let's just say you have a G major, a C major, a D major, and let's say you have an E major. So that doesn't work for the key of G. That just means you have jumped into another key in your song. Now when I was studying jazz in college, one of the things we had to do was analyze songs and figure out how many keys the songs were in. So it's very common that your song is in one, two, three, four, or five different keys altogether. But that will help you find out what uh, key your song is in. That also gives you some extra notes that you can use for soloing. So let's just say you're playing a song in the key of G using G, C, and D. Maybe you didn't know that F sharp was a note that was available to you. So that could be a solo note, or a harmony note, or a saxophone note, doesn't matter what it is you use it for. Now, another thing you could do is, if you're playing a song that has an A minor in it, right? Or you're writing a song that you want to do it in A minor, because when you sing it just sounds good. You don't have to write in the key of A minor. You basically just find a key that has an A minor chord in it. So if we look down all our minor columns, which are on 2, 3, and 6. So let's go to the second column, scan down, and look for an A. There it is in the second row, G major. Uh, let's go to the next minor in the third column. Let's scan down, find an A. There it is down where F is, the F major scale. Let's scan across to the next minor, the sixth column, and there's A in the very first scale, the C major. So if you're playing an A minor chord, you could actually be in G major, you could be in F major, or you could be in the key of C major. So now it's up to you what your next chord is, and whatever that next chord is will help determine what key you're in. So just because you start a song off on a certain chord doesn't mean that's the key that the song's in. Now when I said the key of A minor, we're here talking about major scales. The fastest way to find out a minor scale is go to the sixth column, and that is what is called the relative minor. So in the key of C major, the relative minor is A. In the key of G major, the relative minor is E. It's always the sixth note of a major scale. And you just take that sixth note, so let's go up to the C major scale. The sixth note is A. If you play the notes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, you now have an A minor scale. If you want to do this in an E minor. Look at the sixth column, find an E, use the notes E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Now you have an E minor scale. It's that easy to find your relative minor. So there's your chords that belong to all the scales, and there's a little note about your relative minors. I hope you enjoyed it, and look for more.